Hello everyone, today we're talking trellises and specifically this trellis here. But first, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any great garden content this season. And if you enjoyed this video, if you could tap that like button, we'd appreciate that too. Okay, so this trellis here, a lot of people call it a cucumber trellis, but I think you could grow peas, beans, flowers, all sorts of things on it. What I like about it um, is the versatility of it. And I'm going to show you what we did there. Now I needed a trellis for my raised beds. I have three raised beds, just like this one. And, um, though it's not going in this one, I wanted something that I could move around and adjust. And you can see, I like going vertical. I've got some vertical structures back over here. So I asked my husband to put this together for me. Now, um, the dimensions of this for our purposes, we have it at 32 inches high, 49.5 inches in width, and then these legs are 36 inches. Though you could put longer legs on these and it would be great. The material that we used is redwood. We used two by two pieces of redwood. We bought uh, quite a bit. We built a lot of trellises. If you're like me right now, you're, you're in full swing getting ready for garden season. Uh, but they were eight feet long and we used three of them for this project. Evan used one of them for the top and the bottom, one for the sides and the middle, and one for the legs. He built the frame first, put that together. He used uh, some wood glue because he wants it to stick together. He used screws in here, and then he attached the legs with some carriage bolts, and he used uh, a nut and washer to secure them. So that makes these legs movable, which is really, really great. Now you could use cedar. Cedar's a bit more expensive for us. Um, redwood, you could use other woods too. The cedar and the redwood are gonna last a bit longer, uh, but with something like this, it's fine if you use a different type of wood. You could also seal the wood and protect it a little bit with some raw linseed oil. I always mean to do that and I never do it. So hopefully you're better at that than I am, but you could put it on at any point. So a year from now, a year and a half from now, you could still put that linseed oil on. Now, uh, in the, for the screen, we use chicken wire. We bought a big roll of it. We have a ton of it. And it was one of the easier things for us to use. You could use hardware cloth, kind of like what I have in the arch. Um, if you want bigger holes, you might even be able to use a cattle panel, though it might be a little heavier. Um, but for the chicken wire, Evan laid it out. He did two panels here. He cut it and then he stapled it and he used some galvanized steel staples so they don't rust. And then we'll have little clips throughout this video showing you what he's doing. And then at the end, we'll do a longer video so you can watch his process as he's putting it together. I'll also put material and tools in the description so you can go check that out as well. So I said I wanted it for a bed just like this. And, I, and right here, the way that it's sitting, with the legs that way. Anything that's on this side in this area is gonna get a lot of sun, which is good. Right now, the sun is coming up over there in the east. That's the south for us. And this area here gets 12 hours of sun. Full sun, lots of sun. So if I wanted to, I could actually put the screen on that side and the legs over here. And if I wanted to maybe grow something that needed less sun, then I could put that on this side and then my cucumbers or my peas and beans would block it a little bit for a part of the day. So lots of ways to kind of maneuver this a bit, especially since these legs are movable. Um, the other thing you could do is pop it up this way, secure a couple of legs on it and then have it um, so you could grow up this way, which would be really nice. Again, it's really versatile, really movable. I could also stand it straight up. So I could put the, dig, put the legs down into the soil a little bit and then have it standing straight up to the side, which would be another way to grow with it. I like things that I can move around, change and use in different ways. And like I said, you could put longer legs on this. So if I were doing some in-ground stuff and I wanted it to sit up higher, 
um, I could do that. Also, because you're using these carriage bolts, you could put a couple holes here and maybe go uh, vertical rather than horizontal, right? So, so many ways to put this in your garden. Uh, it took Evan about two hours to build it. So, relatively easy project. Um, and he, of course, is, is a construction guy. So, he might put a little bit more work into it than the average person. So, don't think you have to go Evan's kind of build. Uh, as long as you can use it, it stands up and does what it needs to. I think it's a good, a good trellis. Now, I said that we built some other trellises. We built one that's a little bit like the rectangular one behind me, but it's ground. Um, it stands on the ground and it's really tall for me anyway, it's really tall. So we'll have a video on that. We also have a more of a ladder or a frame. I really love that one. And it's, it's great for my containers. And then lastly, we have um, a trellis I saw on Pinterest. I know Evan wants to delete that app from my phone because I get so many ideas over there. Uh, it's a beautiful trellis. It stands, um, I don't know, like eight feet tall, I think. It has so many different features and Evan built that one for me also. So we'll have a video on that. It's a little more artistic and a lot harder to build, but we'll do a video on that as well. So again, check the description for um, all the material we used and any of the tools that Evan used. If you end up building it, I would love to hear how it goes for you and what you're using it for. So leave that in the comments. I appreciate you joining me today and I will talk to you guys again soon. Happy gardening.